Happy Tuesday, everyone. We're going to start things off with a look at the latest drought monitor, which is not great. Uh, much of the area dealing with a severe drought, moderate drought across eastern parts of the region. But there is good news. This looks to be short term because we've got quite a bit of moisture that is on the way. You can see all of that rainfall from the Gulf into our area. And that does include us here in northern Kentucky, looking at one to two inches of precipitation over the next five days. A lot of this tropical in nature. But that's later in the week. We've got non-tropical showers and thunderstorms today to get through as the frontal boundary makes its way through the region. And you can see as we go through the remainder of our Tuesday, those showers and storms kind of coming and going. Could be some strong, maybe one or two severe storms mixed in there as well, posing mainly a damaging wind threat. By the time the sun sets, a lot of that activity starts to ease up. But by tomorrow, that front will be pretty much right on top of us. And that could set the stage for even more showers and maybe a rumble of thunder. But I think for the most part on Wednesday, things should remain on the dry side. The severe threat is low today, but it's not zero. Notice here we have that marginal risk. That's the lowest. That's the one out of five. So an isolated severe storm cannot be rolled out, as I said, posing mainly a damaging wind threat. Then our attention turns to what is expected to become a tropical storm today. That would be Helene if it if and when it becomes named and it is expected to strengthen very rapidly as it makes its way through the Gulf, making landfall late in the day on Thursday as a category two or three storm in the Big Bend area of Florida before racing into Kentucky as we get toward the end of the week, bringing with it probably some gusty winds and widespread moderate to heavy rainfall. We'll see moderate to heavy rainfall as well today with off and on thunderstorms that'll be making their way through most of us mid to upper 70s, lower 80s, the closer you get toward the Ohio River. Notice lows tonight for the most part stuck in the mid 60s and a very active extended forecast as well. Could see an isolated shower on Wednesday, but that looks to be the driest day of the extended period. Watching for Friday, especially for those tropical impacts where we could see widespread moderate to heavy rain. Even this weekend, a couple of showers hang on and more shower chances on Monday.